guys, it's Kyra, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am back with another haul video, and today's store is going to be Shein. Now, I have never actually shopped from Shein before, um, but I've seen it on Instagram and all social media and all the place. And even here on YouTube, I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos featuring Shein, and I was like, let me go ahead and see what this store is about. So I went online uh, last month, just placed a huge order, um, spent way too much, I won't even say the number, but let's just say that I just got really happy <laughs> with adding things to my cart um, and got my order in. So I got a nice array of things you guys saw that I did also get a nice array of things from Boohoo as well. Just trying to build up my fall wardrobe. You guys know that I honestly don't really have anything to wear for the fall or the winter. Um, and so I figured I'd go ahead and kind of splurge on Sheen as well and, you know, get some new pieces and some new items that I don't really have currently. So I got a blazer, a couple church or work looks. Um, some sweaters and a jacket and a couple body suits and also got a purse and a pair of shoes and some little hats so oh I also do want to note that this little collection that I have here is actually the stuff that I kept I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys this store is a hit or miss so whenever I did get the items in I actually did go ahead and try everything gone and I actually have a box over there by my door for me to remember to go ahead and send it back to the store because most of the items I did really like. Some of them just did not work out. Some of them with items that I got were just, it looked nothing like what it looked like on the website. Okay, like some of the stuff, no lie guys, was really, really bad quality or really cheap quality or did not fit at all. So yeah, I won't even show you guys that, but just know if this story in my opinion is a hit or a miss. Some of the items, like the stuff that I liked, I loved, okay? The stuff that I didn't like, I hated. They're very unique pieces, stuff that you don't see all the time and everywhere. Um, and that to me is what makes trying out the store worth it. So first up we have this snakeskin print dress here. Now this is a simple dress. I needed some new items for like church and stuff like that. So um, I just bought this simple dress. It's not super fancy. The dress itself actually is like tan and dark blue. Just a lightweight dress here. Um, the buttons here. In the center and also has buttons going down so it does have a nice you know v-neck there and I love how light and simple it is and it's also going to be really easy to layer with so if I want to you know throw on a sweater or a jacket or a scarf or whatever because the dress is so thin and lightweight um, it makes it really easy to wear whenever basically transition from fall to winter definitely a good transitional piece to have um, and I just love just the simplicity of it. I can easily throw on a nice hat, you know, some nice statement earrings, some nice boots, you know, and call it a day. I'm trying to like catch up with the trend, you guys. So obviously I had to go in and throw in some more snakeskin print in there. Um, but this one is actually a blazer. Um, the colors are like that tan, that dark, deep brown and black. Um, so like the traditional, you know, snakeskin print. Um, this one also is a little bit thinner. So it's not a heavy wool or you know, heavy material blazer. Um, it's a very, very lightweight. Again, it's very similar to the dress, whereas it's gonna be very easy to transition from fall and winter and layer as well. Um, I just love the look of it. I think that the jacket itself is very, very nice quality, very um, gorgeous, um, and just the perfect neutral, but still statement piece to have this season. Alrighty, so that is it for my snakeskin print pieces, you guys. I didn't go a whole lot today. <laughs> Um, but next up is going to be a sweater dress. Now, this one here is still TBD. I'm still trying to decide if I want to keep it or not. And the reason why is because, first of all, I love, love, love the color. It is just a simple gray knit sweater dress. And the dress, you guys, is so long. So this dress actually comes to my ankles, which I love because it makes it perfect for multiple occasions since it's not like a short midi dress it actually makes it more wearable so i really 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 do love the length i love the material i love the quality it's actually a really good um nice knit sweater dress it's not too thick which i love because here in texas it doesn't get too too cold and i also love this little peephole here on the shoulder so the right shoulder is just simple just plain sleeve nothing fancy there but then on the left sleeve, you have a really pretty peephole on the shoulder, which I think adds a nice touch to the dress. The only reason why I'm TBD on it 
is because it's very, very form-fitting, um, which I love, don't get me wrong. And because this dress is so fitted, there is absolutely no way to get this dress on me without pulling it over my head and having a rub on my face. So it's like, if I wear it, I have to just know to put the dress on before I do my makeup. Like, that's the only thing, and that's just, like, so annoying. <laughs> it's a really small thing, but it's really, really annoying. So I'm trying to just decide now if... I want to keep it for that reason. But other than that, you guys, this dress is so gorgeous. And I just love the way that it hugs my figure. Like, it makes me look, I ain't got much to work with, but it makes me look really, really nice. <laughs> Alrighty, so next up is going to be another dress. And also, this is more so for church and for the holiday season. And it is this super unique and very, honestly, like, vintage-inspired dress. So basically, the dress is double-layered. So here's the blouse. It's just a simple white blouse. Um, it has buttons about three-fourths of the way down. Um, I was sold on the sleeves. The sleeves are these gorgeous sheer white sleeves with this absolutely beautiful floral embroidery on it, which I think adds a really nice touch or a nice character to the top. Um, it also has like an attached, uh, what is this called? Like a tie, a black tie. That you tie of course around the neck um so here's just the blouse right and then you put on this black dress over it and it just sets this entire piece off so of course it's you know it's meant to be worn together and the dress of course is black it has a deep v-neck and it features these really cool gold buttons all the way down and this one also is it's not as long as a gray one but this one is midi so it comes a little bit above my ankle so not as long as the gray one but maybe like an inch or two shorter but it's still really long as well and i like this one because it's not super tight so it'll definitely be good for again church like holiday family activities um, things like that. Basically more of a, <laughs> not a hoochie on my dress, okay? <laughs> and just so you guys know, both of these pieces were sold together. So it's sold as a set. Alrighty, so up next in the weird category is another unique shirt that I honestly have nothing like. But it's a really, really pretty dark, deep green blouse. And what's unique about this blouse is the fact that it actually, so, how do I explain this? So, Okay, so here's the left shoulder and here's the right shoulder, right? So your left shoulder is worn normally. It's worn, you know, over your shoulder, just like a normal shirt. However, the right shoulder is actually worn off the shoulder. So it's actually made like this. You wear the left on this side and you actually wear the right off the shoulder. And it connects here in the center and it buttons down and it actually comes with a matching belt around the waist. And I was just sold on just the uniqueness of it because I honestly don't see shirts like this very often where you have two different, you know, cuts or fits on the sleeves. And I thought that was just really nice and unique. And also this green shade was calling my name. I love, love, love. I love brown. I love camel. I love olive green. And I love mustard in the fall. I feel like those are just my go-tos. And of course, black are my go-tos. And I feel like this shirt is just a perfect shirt to wear um, on more of a casual day, like if I want to do this shirt with a pair of jeans or a pair of loafers and a hat, like just something real simple and casual, but still really, really cute and chic as well. And then my last of my dressier pieces is going to be this set here. Now this is a two piece set and you guys will see whenever I insert the clip of how it's worn, um, why I was instantly in love with it. Okay, so this is definitely a vintage inspired set. You guys know I'm the queen of thrifting. I love, love, love vintage clothing. Um, and this piece here is no different. Granted, it didn't come from a thrift store or a vintage store, but it's definitely vintage inspired. So basically what it is, is it's a top and a skirt. Um, the skirt is midi. It goes a little bit below my knees. Um, and this shirt here is actually a long sleeve peplum top. Now, I love this shirt just because it gives me like 50s, 60s vibe. And then it comes with a coordinating brown belt here. So basically what will happen is, is you put the shirt on. The bottom, of course, is peplum, so it'll kind of flare out. And then the belt is there to help accentuate the waist. So I love, love, love this top. Again, you guys see I love this green shade for the fall. I feel like this makes for a very 
unique, um, classier or dressier look. So that's definitely it. My one gripe about this set, you guys, is the skirt. I would love the skirt if it fit, okay? Now, I don't know what happened, but like all my stuff I ordered in a size small or extra, no, all, it's all small. And it all fits right. But this is the only thing that does not fit right. And since it's a small, in my opinion, this fits more of like a medium or like a large because it's not, it just does not fit right at all. But I love this set so much. So I'm going to go ahead and just bite the bullet and take this skirt to go get altered to fit my size, my shape. I just like this skirt and this set all together would look much better if the skirt was fitted just because since the top is already a little bit looser and a little bit oversized, I feel like the skirt, in order for it to look right or look how I want it to look, the skirt has to be fitted. So I'm going to just go ahead because I love it that much and just go ahead and bite the bullet and get the skirt altered to fit me and then I feel like it'll look bomb after that. Alrighty, so next up we have a sweater. You guys know I love, love, love cozy sweaters during the fall and winter. But what caught me is the fit and also the colors. So I absolutely love that this sweater here is a little bit oversized of course as usual, but the sleeves around the wristlet is actually tight. So it actually kind of makes the sleeve look a bit puffy and a really almost like that bubble shape it just gives it a nice you know structure to the sweater um it does have a rollover neck which i like and i also love the color combination so you have you know that deep brown or that camel shade you have your beige and you also have that again that green color which is like the perfect combo to me for fall and i also love that you have the front of the sweater be beige but the neck be that brown or that camel shape. So I just love, honestly, this combination um, and the way it fits. And again, this is one of those, if I'm in a rush or don't look like getting dressed up, just throw this sweater on with some jeans and some loafers or some booties and call it a day um, and you'll still look really good. And also last thing is that this sweater is actually not super thick, which I do like. I honestly don't like really thick clothes because if it's like super cold outside and I want to layer it, it just makes it way more difficult to put stuff on top of it um but this sweater here is actually pretty it's not thin but it's comfortable if that makes sense and then I also picked up this other sweater here which I love and as you can see both things that caught me with these sweaters were the color combos now, now this one here is a little bit different um that was definitely more of your traditional you know fall colors this one here is a lot lighter and brighter, which I really like because I feel like it's a nice change up for, you know, from your typical fall colors. So this one has pink, light blue, green, orange, and deep navy. And this one's a bit different from the other one because it doesn't have a trail neck. This one actually just has a simple deep V. Um, it is, again, oversized. I prefer my sweaters oversized. And I just love, love, love the color combo. Um, this one's made very similarly to the other one, whereas um, it's really, really, really great quality. Like both of these are actually amazing quality, um, but they're not thick or heavy. So that's great for being here in Texas or somewhere where you have to, where, you know, you'll, some days you can wear it like this. Some days you have to wear it with like a pea coat. Like it's just easy to transition and, you know, layer up if you need to. So I was just sold on the colors and I tried it on and fell in love. Alrighty, next up we have a skirt. And this is just a simple skirt that I saw and fell in love with. And I also love the price point. So that made me buy it even more. This is just a simple black and orange skirt. More so again for church. I'm thinking about church and things like that. But I love this one more so for the color contrast and the details. So you see you have your right side is the orange side. And your left side is the black side. Um, but I also love the fact that along the left side of the skirt, you have these really pretty just like little black uh, bow sewed on so whenever you wear it you know you have that texture and that detail there and then it also does feature a really pretty slit um which i'll definitely have to wear you know leggings or something like that with if i wear it to church but you know just the fact that i can wear it to you know like a christmas party or to church you know like changing up a couple things um makes it worth it in my opinion um it also fits perfectly it fits snug enough to kind of you know not swallow me up but it doesn't show off too, too much, which I do like. And it's just the perfect length, in my opinion. Alrighty, so next up, I have two bodysuits that I picked up from Shein as well. And these are very, very funky bodysuits. So this first one here, of course, is black. 
and it's just a simple bodysuit um really great quality might i add this one here actually has really great quality it's it's made really well um but of course it sold me is the fringe oh my gosh you guys i can just imagine myself walking around and like moving around on purpose just because i love how funky this is um it does feature a deep v-neck and i love that it has the fringe not only on the sleeves but also here along you know the front of it so it comes all the way down here and then also on the sleeve so it's really really nice and just fun and sexy and i thought i could wear this with like a skirt with jeans with pants you know with whatever and just have a fun time with this bodysuit so here's the first one the second one, to be honest, I hate it. I hate this bodysuit, but I'm so mad because I could not return it. It's one of the items I couldn't return. Well, it was the only one that I didn't like that I wanted to return, but I can't because it's a bodysuit. I don't know why they're, that's their rule, but you can't return bodysuits to them. So I'm stuck with it. Um, but it's the only thing that I did not like that I have to show you guys because I can't return it. So it is this bodysuit here, and let me just say that it looked completely different on the model than it does on me. I don't know what happened, but you guys, I put this on, and I just feel like it looks so silly. And I don't know if they, I don't like what they did differently. I even went back to the website just to see, like, was I tripping? But I don't know what it is, but on the model, it looks so much better than it does here on me. Maybe I have to figure out how to style it the right way and, you know, get that together. But it's just this black lace bodysuit. Um, the Honestly, not going to lie, the lace is, it's not super cheap, but it's not the nicest quality of lace. Um, but what's what, what throws me off, of course, you guys probably tell, is just these little pieces here. Like, I don't know what it was, but like even the pictures on the website these little pieces weren't just flying around and flapping around like this like they were kind of like laid down um and so it just looks really silly to me also i don't like that the lace is see-through i mean not that the lace is see-through but that here in the front um there's no that they didn't double layer it to kind of cover the front and like maybe just keep the sleeves sheer so i'll wear a cam or something underneath it to kind of cover up the front part also this shirt is too small i have no idea what they did but again just like with the you know the skirt that olive green skirt that i showed you guys with the two-piece set um that one was actually too big this one here is way too small i don't know what they measured it or how they measured it but you would think that this bodysuit here and the other black fringe one would fit similarly. They don't. It's just like they didn't measure the torso right or the arms right. So that's another bummer. So anyways, yeah, I hate this one. <laughs> Alrighty, and then my last piece is going to be my new, my first in my new teddy coat, you guys. Which I am so happy about because I have been hunting down um, a really nice quality long uh, teddy coat teddy coats and teddy jackets are definitely a trend like they're everywhere same thing with a snakeskin print and I had really wanted one and so I had wanted one that was neutral that I could wear with like almost anything and also something that was thin but that also gave me a little bit of room to wear on top of sweaters like my sweaters I just showed you guys um, I don't like whenever jackets are too fitted because if they're too fitted you almost can never layer them on top of like a sweater or something thicker or heavier. Um, but this one here gives me just enough room to do that. It was a steal. And I had actually been looking at splurging on one from, is it Zara I believe? There's one that I see everywhere now. I believe it was from Zara. And it's like over a hundred bucks. Um, and I was gonna pay for it too, cause it's, it's a nice jacket. But I saw this one and I was like, girl, you better go on ahead and get, <laughs> And get that jacket and I'm so glad I did now this one isn't of course the exact same fit the exact same style the exact same color as the Zara one definitely not the exact same quality but in my opinion it's good enough quality to get away with especially if you don't wear jackets like all the time I have a variety of jackets so whenever I you know get dressed I'll change them out um, and if you're the kind of person like me this will do you just fine it's really soft and really cozy. I love, love, love the length of it. It comes to maybe an inch above my ankle. So it is pretty long. 
Um, the sleeves fit perfectly and it's snug but not too tight so I can easily layer on top of other stuff. So this one's super cozy and I love, love, love the color. I love the fit. I love the style. It's definitely a really great neutral, versatile uh, jacket to have in my collection. Okay, guys, so that is it for the clothing. Next up is going to be my accessories um, and shoes. So I got one pair of shoes, one handbag, and like three or four little hats. So first up is going to be my handbag. Um, I have one that's a simple, plain, black crossbody. Of all the bags that I have, I do not own a black crossbody. But I have wanted more of a simple... Every day, if I wanted to wear something every day, you know, a handbag that was just classic, black, and didn't have a whole lot going on. And so I saw this one on the website and, again, fell in love with it. It is faux leather. It does feature, like, a quilted print along the front and the back. Um, it does have a twist lock, so you just twist the front, which I like. And it does feature this dark silver or also like a dark gray hardware so the lock here is like that dark gray and also the handle is as well but it's just a simple classic bag to have like everyone should have a nice classic black handbag in the collection um and again you can wear it either over the shoulder across the body but it's a good bag to have Alrighty, and then aside from the handbag i did also get four little hats um, first up is going to be this beret that I actually wearing today. I got this black beret that features um, little pearls all around uh, from Shein as well. And I love, love, love it. I feel like berets and like little caps like this and things like that are just the perfect accessories to have for when you want to spruce things up. Something like this, something like this, you know, captain's hat here or something like this little turban cap here is really, really nice to have. So I bought this black one. Again, it has pearls all around it. Um, I also bought this brown captain's hat, or what's it called? Baker's Boy hat, captain's hat, whatever it is. Um, I bought this one here. It's brown. It is faux leather. Um, and it's super, super, super cute. So it's a really nice, again, cap to have. And then I also bought these two little turban caps. I don't know, you guys. I haven't drawn to these lately. Not that I actually wear them with my short hair. I can't, at least I can't figure out how to wear them yet with my short hair, but maybe one day I'll figure it out. But I just got this like gold sparkly one here. It's really cute. And I also got a all black one as well. And then last up is going to be these shoes. So I got a pair, I actually ordered two pairs of shoes. Um, one pair did not fit, so I'm going to show you guys those. Um, but I did get um, another pair of black loafers. I love loafers. Loafers to me are like the perfect uh, go-to shoe whenever you want to be casual, but you want to not wear sneakers. I just reached for my loafers. And I bought these black ones here, and they're kind of like dupes of, is that Gucci that has a pair of these? I believe it may be Gucci that has a pair of like the black loafers with the little fur on the back. So I saw these and was like, oh, they're cheap. Oh, they're cute. Let me go ahead and get them. So they're just really nice black loafers. Um, I love that it features these tassels here in the front. And it also features gold hardware here along the top of the shoe, which adds, again, some nice character to the shoe. So you have, you know, it's a rounded toe. You have the tassels and the gold hardware. And then, of course, in the back, it features, you know, that brown faux fur, which I think is just a perfect, like, shoe to have for, you know, the colder days because who would want to walk around with, you know, furry shoes when it's cold outside? So I saw these and fell in love, and I'm so happy I got these because they are absolutely gorgeous. So, you guys, that is it for my Shein haul. Um, got some nice pieces, not too, too much, but I did get a nice array. But I definitely encourage you guys to go ahead and check them out because the store is so cheap. Um, that it makes the pieces, like you find what you love, it makes those pieces worth it. Definitely go ahead and try it out. Um, let me know what was you guys' favorite piece that I showed you guys today. Did you guys like the dress, the blazer, the sweater, the two-piece, the shoes? What did you guys like? Also, have you guys tried Shein yourself? Um, if so, did you guys like them, not like them? You know, share your thoughts. Spread the wealth, spread the knowledge, um, and let me know what you guys think. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. So if you guys did, don't forget to like the video and give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.